Hey friends, welcome back for another video. My name is Tanya, for those of you that are new here, and I am a watercolor artist. So everything is blooming and the cherry blossom trees look gorgeous. So I've been inspired to do little mini paintings of trees lately, and I wanted to share one with you. So I hope you enjoy the video. So the trees this time of the year are gorgeous, especially the cherry blossom trees. Um, they're all pinks and purples and whites, and so I was really inspired to paint a tree for you this week. So I've got my Arches watercolor paper. I've got my Windsor Newton watercolors. I've got two cups of water. I've got my pencil and my eraser, and I've got a couple different size brushes here. I've got a 12 and a 6. And then I think I'm going to be bringing in some of my Arteza um, real brush pens at the end. I'm not 100% sure, but I might be doing that too because I really love these brush pens. Um, they're watercolor markers. So um, I'm going to be bringing in some of those at the end, I believe. All right, so let's just start out with our light sketch. And I don't want just any kind of straight tree. I want kind of like a stylish tree showing movement. So almost like a, a figure. So I'm just going to do kind of like a curved tree here and have it wing out at the bottom. Like that, let's see, I might even want it a little bit more curved. Yeah. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna bring in the, the branches. Um, just kind of place where you want some of the branches. Don't be too specific about it right now because we're gonna be adding more later. All right, so that's about all I'm gonna be painting at this point. Actually, maybe I'll have one more come out that way. So I just wanted to fill my whole page. Um, for the composition, you can even just put your tree kind of um, in the middle or on the side if you want to see the whole tree. Mine is gonna be bleeding off the top edge right here. So just position your tree any way you want. I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna lighten up some of my pencil marks here. I don't have to lighten them up too much, um, especially towards the bottom because my um, trunk is gonna be dark. So I don't have to lighten it up too much. All right, I am going to use my size 12 and I'm just going to bring in some water on the trunk of the tree and bring it down a little bit here. Now, if you wanted to do a sky in the background, you could definitely do that. I'm gonna leave my background just crisp white because my tree is gonna be all these beautiful, beautiful colors and I just want it to pop off the back. I don't want anything competing here. So I'm gonna leave my background white, but you could definitely do a sky or you know other trees or whatever in your background. I'm gonna pull in some of my browns. So make any kind of combo brown that you like. And I'm just gonna start dropping it in. And I love where it just starts to bleed together. So I don't wanna disrupt that too much. Drop in a little more brown. And I want the, um, I want the base to have all sorts of different colors down here. Probably bring in some pink since my tree is gonna be pink. And I've got yellows, I might bring in some orange. And actually where the yellow and the pink are meeting, it's kind of turning a orangey color on its own anyway, so I might just leave it at that. Bring it up a little bit in my trunk. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry and then maybe just, you know what, I'm gonna add a little bit of red. Drop in a little bit of red here and there. Just like that. All right, I'm gonna bring up my, um, my branches a little bit. And you wanna go over it with a nice light line and also like a broken up line, so that way if you bring in some of your leaves um, or flowers or whatever you choose to do in your tree through the branch, you're gonna leave a little bit of negative space here and there. And then wherever your branches are connected to the trunk, obviously just thicken it up a little bit. 
because the branches are thicker towards the trunk. Do a couple more if you want to just broken up little lines there. I'm going to drop in a little bit of black just to darken up one of my edges here and I think I'm going to just darken up where the branches meet the trunk I'm going to darken that up a little bit too Bring in a little bit more brown down this way too. Okay, just like that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and dry this and then we're gonna start the um, leaves and then we're gonna put in more um, dimension and shapes and stuff into our trunk as well. All right, so I'm gonna take my size 12 brush and I'm just gonna put some water here and there where I want the flowers or the leaves in your tree. And you don't want to cover it completely because you do want to leave some of that white space so you have negative um, space, you know, popping through so it's not real solid. And I'm going to take my pink here and I'm just going to pop it in. You can actually have it come down a little bit if you want to. It's really pretty. All right, I'm gonna take some of my purples more towards the middle here. So it's kind of like shaded. So use maybe like a darker color when you're coming in and doing like the inside here. So then it looks like it's shaded inside the tree because the outside of the tree is obviously getting more sun. So it's gonna be a little bit lighter. And just let those bleed in together. And again, you don't have to do these colors. You could choose any color you like. Um, you could actually uh, have it, you know, not as vibrant as my colors. Let's see, I'll lighten this one up a little bit here. So just take, if you think that it's a little too dark, just take a clean brush and dab it off on your paper towel. some clean water blending it in and I think I'm gonna take a little bit more of my pink and bring it down a little bit more this way there. all right so my while we're waiting for that to dry I want to um, go ahead and play around with some shapes and lines in my trunk here I'm gonna take let's see I'm gonna use my Arteza brush pens Actually, I'm gonna bring in a green. And I'm just gonna start bringing in some little, maybe like little swirlies. I'm just playing around with some, um, some shapes here, giving it a little bit of texture on my tree. Maybe I'll bring in a little bit of uh, purple too. Okay. And then I'm gonna move over to my size six brush with just water. And I'm gonna just let that bleed out a little bit. Put some water on my Arteza brush pens where I just laid it down. So it's gonna blend in a little bit together, make it a little bit more of a fuzzy, fuzzy look, not as crisp. If you wanted the crisp look, then you don't need to put any more uh, water on it. Just leave it the straight um, watercolor marker. That's really pretty. All right, I'm gonna take a little more black. I'm 
I'm dropping a little bit more black on this side over here. Just darken it up a little bit. And I actually made a little series of these paintings. Maybe I'll show you in a minute um, some of my other paintings. But there is actually a series. I did like three or four of them already. And they're really cute. Just like little mini trees, all different colors, all different, um, you know, shapes. Bring in a little bit of black on this side too. So this isn't supposed to be a real serious painting. This is just a fun little exercise, um, just to kind of use your imagination and creativity. I'm just having a good time. All right, I'm gonna add a little more pink up here because I see some of it was overpowered by the purple. And I love things that are just like bleeding off the side here, off the edges. It just, for me, I don't know, it just, I like that look. The look of the composition where it's just kind of bleeding off your, your edges. All right, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow up there too. Let's do a little yellow, just here and there. Maybe a softer pink more down here. Lighten that up a little bit. Just going over it with some water. It was a little too dark for me. I just want to fill in some of this negative space here. That's all. But you see, I still have a really good amount of white space peeking through my leaves right here. And I love that. Bring those branches down as much as you want. This is your magical little painting. There, so see how I filled in a little bit of that negative space right in this area? Just by giving it a little bit of a light pink wash on there, it really filled it in beautifully. All right, I'm gonna dry this and then we're gonna see what else we need to add. All right, that turned out really, really cute. I'm really happy with this. I've been doing little mini paintings lately and um, I'm just having a really good time with them. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of black, my Arteza brush pen. You can use um, black ink, you can use black watercolor, you can use gouache, whatever you want. I am choosing to use my um, real brush pen. And I'm just gonna give a little bit more texture to this tree here, a little bit more pop because I can never leave anything alone. I always am pushing it to its limit. But if you don't wanna, if you like a little bit more of a delicate painting, then you know definitely don't, don't do this. I'm gonna come on in and just add a little bit also to my branches that are peeking through. And then if you go over it pretty fast, my brush is kind of drying out here a little bit. I've used it so much. You can give it this gorgeous, gorgeous texture. If you kind of rub it on and just in fast little motions, it gives you this texture. And I love that look. If you don't love that look, don't go ahead and do this. I don't know if you can see that. It's giving this beautiful, beautiful texture right here. So you can go ahead and add a little water if you want to, or you could just leave it just like that. I'm gonna add just a little bit of water here and there. That is so pretty. 
I'm in love with this. That is really, really pretty. If you wanted to, you could always bring a couple more branches, you know, hanging down all the way. But I just love that it's delicate down here, that it's everything is so nice and vibrant. And then you've got a really delicate um, part of your painting here. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave it alone. So again, you could just do any colors you want. This is just a quick little exercise just to use your imagination and creativity. Experiment with um, the real brush pens or any kind of brush marker you have. Experiment with gouache, with watercolor. Um, you could even bring in, I've got these, I didn't use it today, but I've got the Dr. P.H. Martin. I use these a lot. It's the India ink. I love this, bringing a little bit of this at the end. Um, it comes in so many different colors. So, and another thing you could have done, and actually maybe we will. Um, I've got this Dr. Uh, pH Martin's bleed proof white you know what I'm gonna go ahead and just experiment really quick I'm gonna go ahead and again I'm not using a good brush with especially with um, the bleed proof white I'm not using a good brush so put your good brushes away at the moment um, I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna wet a couple spots here that I just want to put the bleed proof white and just let it blend in a little bit you could just put it down straight white if you want to I like to just add a little bit of water just so it blends in a little bit and it's a little bit more of a delicate look. And I'm going to let that just dry on there. I like that. I think that looks really pretty. So again, just experiment with what you like. You never know until you try something. You never know if you're going to like it or not. Um, so just go ahead, especially with this kind of painting. It's just quick. It's easy. It's small. Um, if you don't like it, throw it away um, or make a little mini series out of it. If it's really going your way, make a little series out of it and make them all look a little bit different. So there you go. Thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you liked it and learned a little something. And if you did like it, please give me a thumbs up and you can make a comment in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe if you want more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Have a great day. Bye.